Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see remediate security alerts and automate responses using Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I am logged on to the portal. So from Defender for Cloud's overview page, here, click on it on the portal on the home page. It will load up the Defender for Cloud service. Now I am at the overview page of the Defender for Cloud. Okay, you go to security alerts. I don't have an alert here, but if you will select an alert, it will show you a description of the alert and all the affected resources. And when you will click on the further information, it will show you all the details, right? The oh, the security alert details show the high level information regarding the security alert, the title, severity, status, activity, time, description of the suspicious activity and the affected resources. Alongside the affected resource are the Azure tax relevant to the resource. Now you use tax to infer the organizational context of the resources when investigating the alert. Let me find the sample alert so that I can show you. All right, this is the sample alert that it would show right on the security alert section of the Defender for Cloud here, right? This is the sample alert for the dummy tenant, which is Contoso. And you would see all the alerts coming in here. And uh, when you want to create a sample alert, you just click on here and it will show you here. So if I go here and if I click on sample alerts, it will show me the same thing, right? So 11 selected for all of the, let's say I select only for key vaults. Create sample alerts. It will create sample alerts for the subscription pay as you go. This may take a few moments, right? So it will generate all the alerts here. Just I wanted to show you a demo and that's why I only selected key vault. If you want to create sample alerts for all the services, you can select all and then click on create sample alerts. All right. So when you will do that and if I go to the next picture here, right? You can also simulate alerts on your Azure VM as well when you are on the windows by running this command. All right, so let me wait. For some time. Let me refresh it. And pause the video and come back. After refreshing, I see the sample alerts here. Now if I click on an alert here. And I click on view fuel details. So the right pan includes the alert details uh, containing further details of the alert to help you investigate the issue, IP address, files, processes, and more like the application ID, the suspicious operations, result signature. It will here show you the attacker IP. This is sample, that is why it is showing as this. Client information, attacker object ID, and whole lot of information, right? And the related entities. And also, you can have, there is a tab called Take Action. You can use this tab to take further actions regarding the security alerts. You can do it to mitigate the threat. You can do it to prevent uh, future attacks. Okay, whatever will be listed here, you can trigger automated uh, response, provides the option to trigger a logic app as a response or you can suppress similar alerts here by creating a suppression rule. Okay, now, now what are the automated responses? Every security program includes multiple workflows for incident response. These processes might include notifying relevant stakeholders, launching a change management process and applying specific remediation. Now, security experts recommend that you automate as many steps of those procedures as you can. Automation would reduce the overhead 
or a manual intervention and it will improve the security by ensuring the process steps are done quickly consistently and according to the predefined requirements okay for this if you see you create alerts these are the separation rules but you can create a logic app and define when it should automatically right here so if you click on trigger automated response you can trigger the logic app here you can select the logic app that you have created to do an automated response or action that you want right you will define a workflow you will create a logic app that's a you'll have to create a workflow automation you will have to create a logic app and define when it should automatically run that is called the workflow automation all right and you will do it you click on add a workflow automation when you go here and when you click on microsoft defender for cloud again you click on workflow automation you type in here here it is under management and you click on add a workflow automation and then you will give a description you will give a name a description subscription resource group and uh, the trigger that will initiate this automatic workflow right defender for cloud data type security alert or a recommendation or a regulatory compliance standard alert name contains specific alert for which you want to run the automation what would be the alert severity and the action that it would take and then you will select the logic app that you configured and the logic app designer would support the defender for cloud triggers when a defender for cloud recommendation is created or triggered if your logic app relies on a recommendation that gets depreciated or replaced your automation will stop working it would also be triggered when a defender for cloud alert is created or triggered whatever conditions are here right here alert recommendation or a regulatory compliance standard and you can any time manually trigger that logic app as well when you view or any security alert or a recommendation so that is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day